To our male diners, we now offer you the chance to escape. Members of my staff will try and catch you. Fuck. Okay, I believe there was a spaghetti for you, madam. There you go. And, and then there was also... Uh, leave a like on the video! <laughs> All right, let's watch a movie about food. Hello, welcome back to another one of these. My name's Alex, otherwise known as Pugapilla across all my social platforms. I watch movies here. That's what I do. And you're watching me watch, you're watching me watch a movie. Watching a movie. I'm wearing an apron. I kind of feel like a little bit of a sexy maid. So if you need me to like dust some cobwebs off or whatever, just, just let me know in the comments. Actually, that's a fun one. Let me know what you'd let me clean. Why did that sound sexual? <laughs> a comment like, oh, that would actually be great. My grandma has trouble bending over. You, you might be able to help her. Oh my God. This intro isn't an entree like a long piece of garlic bread. So let's not make it a long intro. If you want to support me on Patreon, greatly appreciate it. You can see videos a whole day early there. You can also make movie requests and you can watch me talk a little bit more about this movie after I've watched it. It's a, it's like a little after show. Please leave a like on the video. It does help out a ton and I will see you in two seconds. Do I take this apron off? No. Hello, it's me again. I did say two seconds later. I accept. Please don't smoke, it'll kill your palate. Then my palate will die happy. Kinda wish I was that cigarette in her mouth. <laughs> what are they trying to profit? Twelve fifty a head, that's how. You're fucking kidding, right? Twelve dollars fifty a head? That's so cheap for like a food cruise. A fruise, if you will. No, that doesn't work. Holy fucking shit. Lillian Bloom. Oh my god. I'm guessing she's rich and can afford $12.50? Who's Lillian Bush? Just a food critic? For Civil War? A food critic? Isn't that everyone on the entire planet is a food critic? We all like food. We all eat food. Sometimes we dislike food. We're all critics. Holy fuck, I thought that was Mel Gibson for a second. I saw all his movies when I was a kid. Hey, listen. Apparently he's a big foodie. Everyone's a foodie. Let's get it through our heads. We all enjoy food. Beyond that emulsion with lemon caviar and an oyster leaf. That looks fucking disgusting. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. The most expensive fish eggs you'll ever swallow. Can I just say as well, not an expert in food. I literally still eat chicken nuggets and veggies at 26 years old. I know I'm outing myself a little bit there, but I do enjoy a couple of chicken nuggets on a weekly basis. My go-to lunch is microwavable sausage rolls some days. <laughs> I'm not an expert in food. I like a good chicken parmigiana. Oh, poor baby. Fuck those bitches. She's looking like a main course. <laughs> Mr. Diaz. Did my real name? Of course I gave him your real what name. What about Thank you. It's a pleasure to Oh, God, he's an arrogant actor. Sorry, yeah, no, that was... Uh, Nicholas Holt. We're harvesting scallops. You'll eat them tonight. Oh, this is an expensive meal. <laughs> if we're harvesting scallops this early. I don't know how scallops work. Aren't scallops like the truffle things? See, I know nothing about food. Our smokehouse is in the Nordic tradition. We use the meat of dairy cows. Oh, I was going to say, Margot's going to love the smokehouse. Don't let the sausages hit you in the face. Unless you're into that. This is where we live. Ew! We eat exquisite food, yet we sleep in a fucking toilet roll. We gel. We gel what? Like, like jelly? You guys ever get burnt out or? Burned out? Typically, we don't go for burnt here. We go for like medium rare slash well done. Now. Who's hungry? Oh, me. Me, I am. You mustn't disturb the Lord High Emperor of Sustenance. I'm gonna have a crush on Margot, aren't I? <laughs> Feel free to observe the cooks as they innovate. What is that, corn? Please do not photograph our dishes. Chef strongly feels that the beauty in his creations lies in their ephemeral nature. What about my foodstagram? I'm a food critic, I need to post my meals! You know, a Paco Jet can produce a powderized, uh, snow-like texture. I don't know enough about food. Whatever, I believe it. Chef, is he around here somewhere? I'd love to talk with Why don't you take him. your seat? Hey, I look like you! Except I wouldn't have been hired because I'd only know about chicken nuggets. 
Oh my god, I can just see Voldemort, man. <laughs> um, Amuzi Bushi. What the fuck is that? <laughs> we have a compressed and pickled cucumber melon, milk snow, and chocolates. <laughs> That'll be $5,000, thank you. Jesus Christ, I want to live inside this thing. Can you imagine how much rent would be inside that dish? So what is it with this food thing? They play with the raw materials of life itself. Okay, I think you're taking food a little bit too seriously, man. I don't drink this bottle of water and go... Watched him explain the exact moment. That sounds like someone took a shit in the toilet then. The fluoride in this is quite extravagant. First course. How many courses? Three? It's fucking raw! <laughs> oh my god. They're like sculpting the food. I'm Julian Slowick, and tonight it'll be our pleasure to feed you. He's so intimidating. You will ingest fat, salt, sugar, bacteria, fungi. Not so fun guy. I wonder if he invited Harry Potter. The boy who lived, come to dine. Do not eat. Our menu is too precious for that. What the fuck? Then why did I come? I'm telling you, I'm not paying $12.50 to come on a boat. That sounds bad. To go onto a boat and not eat the food. Our first course is called the island. On your plate, the plants from around the island placed on rocks from the shore. Oh my God, that looks incredible. Now this is what the guy was fishing for. Early Sorry. Morning. Um, yeah, dude, you need to learn to like zip it a little bit. You know what? You'd make a great movie reactor because I get those same comments. What happens inside this room is meaningless compared to what happens outside. Excuse me, sir. I didn't come here to learn. Can I just get into my meal? Enjoy. He would make a mean chicken schnitzel burger. Are you crying? <laughs> oh. Jesus Christ, man. Almost too beautiful to eat. <laughs> he cried over a dish. <laughs> Premier crew from 2014. Not just a single vineyard. This movie feels too expensive for me to even watch. That's a drink, is what that is. We're eating the ocean. We're eating the ocean. That's better than killing it, which is something else we're currently doing. It's good. You can't just say good for the show. You have to, you have to embellish. Can that's, I eat now? That's what you're gonna pitch to three streaming services on Yeah, Monday. pretty much. If we're gonna pitch a food show to a streaming service, I know the best one. It's Apple. No. Stop, 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 stop. You're gonna eat the island. Okay, but question. How did they get the lettuce to look like a plant? I, I'm not even gonna be able to predict any of the meals. <laughs> Flour and water. What could be simpler? Bread. Breadless bread plate. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're fucking serious. I gotta say that the shit around the total absence of the bread is like really good. Oh my god, it's literally just a breadless plate. You really shouldn't see that in a restaurant of this quality. There it is. Well, there it is. You literally pay twelve fifty <laughs> to get a blank plate. <laughs> Trust me, he's telling a story. That's what makes his food so exciting. The food's not that exciting if it's not on the fucking plate, man. Is everything to your liking, sir? Oh, uh, well, actually, no. Thanks for asking. Oh, no, don't complain. Could we please get a little bread, you know, and some gluten-free for my friend as well? No. Ouch. You go on the wrong cruise, buddy. I said no, yes. Okay. okay. Wow. Just wanted a little bit of bread, man. <laughs> you haven't touched your food. There, there is no food. I want to fill up. That would not be possible. I've precisely designed the portions to account for that, so... <laughs> you told us not to eat. That is not what I meant, madam. Damn, daddy, you called me. <laughs> you know my name? Oh, shit. Thank you. When can we get, like, the vanilla ice cream with, like, caramel topping or something? You invited Nanny McPhee? I didn't realize you had Nanny McPhee on the boat. Third course. So this is dessert, right? Because three courses, you have entree, main, and dessert. It's like we're building Lego with food. Oh, she's staring again. 
Where do we know him? We don't. Mmm, they know each other, but how? A different kind of future. Does that make sense? At the corporate level. Thank line. God it's all just hypothetical. Anyway. Oh, fuck, mate. Stop doing that. Tuesday was taco night. Oh, yeah. Yep, because <laughs> taco, taco Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh, okay, thank you. This lady here, this is my mother. Oh! As you can see, she's rather drunk. Drunk or just not there? My father came home, also not unusual. He proceeded to wrap a telephone cord around her neck and pull it tight. I wept. I finally had to stab him in the thigh with kitchen scissors. Oh, I was going to say, how does this make eating food interesting? Well, I suppose I should have stabbed him in the throat that evening. Okay, settle down. House smoked breast chicken thigh al pastor and our own tortillas made with heirloom mass. I hate to say it, but that looks fucking delicious. We hope this taco night evokes strong memories for us all. What if it's not Tuesday, though? Oh, so like a gag, then. Um... I think so. Personally, I wouldn't want to gag taco. The pictures, they're, they're all of us. That's weird. That's weird. This one is after you had the melanoma removed from your forehead. There's the bandage. That, that's so weird. I don't, I don't need a selfie taco. I can taco my own selfies. Thank you. <laughs> God damn it. That was a dad joke. Oh, no. <laughs> what? Call him Dr. Sunshine. His acting roles. Maybe it's a joke because... Your friends, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, not when he picks on my least favorite work. Oh. Oh. What the hell are these? These are tortillas. <laughs> hey, do you know how fucked you are? I don't have this place close by the morning, do you understand? You're not making it off this boat, dude. Who is that woman? That's Margot. Oh my god. Imagine being caught out cheating on a fucking tortilla. It's fate. It's some sort of, sort of stupid joke. That is so embarrassing. If they turn us, then they'd be turning back again. Yeah. And then they'd be just as fucked as we are. I'll be honest, a taco has never made me stress this much. I'll tell you how you make it right. You send the shit back. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me? Um, taco image is a little bit distorted. Can you send it back? Do it again. Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is incredible. You have to try this. Good taco, huh? Makes you completely forget that this guy fucking laser designed tattoos. Uh, tattoo. Fuck. What? That's the chick from Terrifier 2. Who are you? I am Margo. Robbie? Fourth court. Four. That's too many meals. Then again, given the portion sizes you're handing out, maybe we need 26 courses. Fuck, stop do clapping like that. I'm excited. Jeremy Loudon. <laughs> Jeremy created the next dish. Hey, that's my buddy Jeremy. We go way back. Jeremy looks like he'd be able to bench me whilst making spaghetti bolognese. He'll never be great. Ouch. He aspires to greatness, but he'll never achieve it. There is no way to avoid the mess. The mess you make of your life, of your body, of your sanity. This is just workplace bullying. Do you like this life, this life that you dreamed about? No, chef. And do you want my life? This makes me wildly uncomfortable. I don't know if I'd want a meal made by Jeremy after witnessing him cry. What the fuck? Sous chef Jeremy's the mess. Huh? <laughs> How's he gonna be the perfect chef now when he fucking died? I was a shock, I didn't see that coming. D d d d d d that's normal to you? What? This is what you oh, that's, that's not This is what you're paying for. I paid twelve fifty for a dude to shoot himself in the head and barely and barely get fed. Is he dead? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he is. He fucking shot himself in the head, man. This is what he does. It's part of the menu. I reckon Jeremy's gonna be a part of the menu with the way this is going. Bone marrow. Oh god, no, I don't I don't trust this at all. Just no. I would be sobbing while I eat your food, okay? Doesn't mean I'm liking it. We're leaving. No. Well, yeah, good idea. Let's around. go. Just break one of the windows. We're leaving. 
there is no boat to leave on. I'll fucking swim back. Ring finger. What? What the fuck is happening? No, 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 no. Please hold still. Do we not have hot dogs available? We have to chop a man's finger off? I guess good news for you is you're now back on the market. Or should I say, the menu. <laughs> Your husband's ring, madam. <laughs> Give that to his little mistress. The acting is astonishing. What the fuck the are you talking about? The acting? <laughs> that man just lost his finger. Do you think that's acting? And in a bigger note, a guy shot himself in the head. In an astonishing turn of events, the husband has now been fingered. With us or with them. And then you'll let me live? That you live? No. Of course not. Oh. Okay. We're all gonna die tonight. Isn't that right? Yes, sir! <laughs> Do you wanna die with those who give or with those who take? I just came on this. Hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Get your ass on, my I just came on this boat. Hell no, man. I just came on this boat for good feed. That's all. What was it? Protein or veg? Uh, actually, life or death. Smoke all day. Can't even fucking taste it. He's turning into an asshole. You may as well go and get a job with this guy. You're perfect. Hey guys, we gotta do something. Man. We can't be cowards. This worked in a movie they called The Assault. One. How does he somehow still manage to bring up a movie he starred in <laughs> in this circumstance? That's like Chris Evans being in this movie, right? And going, I was in a movie called Avengers. I'll just use my shield and we'll break out of you. Fuck it. I'm gonna break the window. Good, 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 good. Oh no, that's bad. Please let me help you back to your table. I know for a fact that bitch is a fucking psychopath. We just haven't seen it yet. Ah, oh, stop! Stop that! Sometimes all you need is a good cup of tea. I found that not only does tea cleanse the palate... Does tea help with constipation? Asking for a constipated friend? But none of this should be a surprise to most of you. Ah, uh, a dude shooting himself in the head is considered a fucking surprise. 10 minutes, Miss Mills. Oh, to decide if she's team chef or team deaf. Kindly name one dish you ate the last time you were here. Um, baked beans. Cod? It wasn't cod, you donkey. It was halibut. What does it matter? Yes, it does. Especially here. You're almost lucky he didn't call you an idiot sandwich. I've allowed my work to reach the price point where only the class of people in this room can access it. Wait, is $12.50 $1,250? This whole time I've thought it was $12.50. Jesus. No. Okay, just please just make it stop. Just, just fucking tell us how to stop this. Yeah, we already put time and effort into hanging this guy up with angel wings. We're not going to take him down. Fallen angel, please. Oh, shit. Oh, that is terrifying. <laughs> the middle of the ocean at night. And That's fucked up. Under he goes. That silence means I'm free. No, it means you just killed the guy. Pitch black drowning in the ocean? Fuck that. Chef will speak with you now in his office. Team Chef! I'm Team Chef! I'm in, I'm in. Apprentices? Enem oh wait, that says appetite. <laughs> I thought it says apprentices and enemies. I shouldn't be here. And I say this with respect. You could put it politely like that, or you could just say, this place is fucked. Ladies and gentlemen, for our next course. Oh, I'm not interested in any more courses. Outside, everyone. Regulars to come on. I would run. I would just bolt. You're letting us outside? Guess what? I ain't coming back in. It's okay. No, we're gonna die today. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> our next course will be presented <laughs> by sous chef. Three years ago, Julian Slowick tried to fuck me. <sighs> What are we gonna offer up now as a course? A tea boner steak? He kept me in his kitchen and refused to look me in the eye. It's because he was looking at your other eyes. If you catch my drift. He's the man. How much is this dude paying you for you to say stuff like this after what he's been doing? That paycheck must be fat. Stab him in the nuts. <laughs> you stab him in the stomach? Or oh, oh. <laughs> in the nuts sack. Looks like we're serving up peanuts for dinner. 
Oh no, okay, we stabbed him in the leg. I thought you went for the nuts. This is so fucked that I'm actually interested in like finding out what the Google reviews would be of this actual restaurant. So I took my wife here for our 50th wedding anniversary, left with our outer wife. To our male diners, we now offer you the chance to escape. Members of my staff will try and catch you. I'll send for help first thing. It's 2023, equality matters. Let everyone go at the same time. I know, I know, I'm a good person. Oh god, if I was in this scenario, I would identify as trans straight away. As if you wouldn't, come on. He says, uh, men have chance to escape and we're gonna hunt you and kill you? I'm a f I'm suddenly a female. Hello, hello, chef. You know, it's, it's the emoji for me. An emoji. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Gen Z right there. You're very talented, thank you. It's giving, she ate that roll up. That's what it's giving. So? You know my husband. Yeah, you fucked me in the back of my car. Yeah. I do. I actually know your husband better than you do. I oh. <laughs> heard a pop. Fuck. Careful, dude. Those chickens could be in. A special bite for the last guest to be caught. <laughs> He's gonna take it. He's gonna take <laughs> Well, you know, at least I was the last guest. My name is not Margo. It's Aaron. I feel like Margot isn't really a name for a smoker, so it kind of makes sense. Aaron absolutely is. Aaron smokes fucking 20 packets a day. Aaron sounds like this. Aaron actually sounds like this because she's been diagnosed with emphysema. Here. Oh, God. She knows. Guess who ain't getting fucked tonight? You. Tell me why you're here. I'm just here for the experience. You told me it'd be the greatest menu ever created. Right, and? Five stars. It definitely is the best. That everyone would die. Everyone would die. You knew? You seem to remember you had a date. Not the young woman here tonight. Oh, <gasps> you brought her on knowing. So you hired her knowing she died. Holy fuck. You're not like the others, are you? I mean, you you know what, it what are those guys doing in the background? No, oh, no, 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 no. Don't come closer, please. Something fuck's about to happen. Come with me. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, I have something for you. Did he just fucking get a promotion? He's going to become one of the chefs. You look wonderful. Doesn't he look wonderful, Margo? He's totally got a boner about this. Doesn't he look good? Yes, chef! It's the handsome boy. <laughs> Even mum got involved. Or. That is a fantastic name tag. Now that he's a chef and he's creating food, we can actually call him Tyler the Creator. Tyler is gonna demonstrate his culinary expertise. Oh God, this is gonna go so badly. This is your station here. What else? <laughs> um, uh, shit, would you like some shit? Shit? <laughs> we can provide some shit? I bear witness to a revolution in cuisine. Uh, a little bit of personal sauce, <laughs> just pour it into the pot. Oh, this is too much. This seems like a little bit of a kitchen nightmare to me. It does look good though. You have done a good job. Mm. Wow. Quite scrumptious. It's actually quite bad. I myself. I'd get one of those pots and You are why the mystery has been drained from our art. You see that now, don't you? Sorry, but come here, son. He put his heart, sweat and tears into that dish and you just went, nah. Well, that's the quickest job opening ever. Margot is now one of us, Elsa. Right, Margot? What's my salary first? No, not the salary in the fridge. Chef. Elsa, give her the smokehouse key. I don't think that's a good idea. I saw what was in the smokehouse and I'm worried it's actually human meat. I'm starting to remember my experience with Fresh. Yep, yep, fuck. Excuse me, uh... He looked like a fucking monkey then. Do you want to know why you're being punished? It might be a good thing to know, yes. Dr. Sunshine. I did not enjoy it. Sorry? It was a Sunday. My one day off in months. <laughs> the memory of your face in that film, seeing you again now, haunts me. 
You're in this because he didn't like your movie and you've ruined his one day off in months. What school did you go to? The Brown. Student loans? No. I'm sorry, you're dying. Okay, okay. God damn, that is a kitchen though. I love that. You've disobeyed this rule. Well, that's not good. I take care of the customers so that chef can take care of the menu. <laughs> What's that smell I smell? Is it jealousy? Uh, trust me, I have no- <laughs> I would die in this scenario. I'd be getting cramps from the food I ate earlier. She'd stab me so easily. You know what they say, never try to run away from a killer after you've had five courses. He didn't tell me about the barrel. I didn't forget. Oh my God. You just did that. You. Oh, you have no choice. You have to take her job now. It's all part of the play. It's all theatrics. The only thing I can think of behind the silver door is like all bodies or something. I don't know. I can't think of any other reason why it would be so secretive. Oh, no, it's just a room. Okay. Ah, his first job. The time he realized, I'm stuck in the food industry, aren't I? Happy birthday to you. Hip hip! You told him it was my birthday? Oh, that's right, we're American. In Australia, it's tradition to go hip hip, hooray, three times. Otherwise, someone dies. I see you found our radio. Oh, that smug look. Holy fuck. This entire evening. Why didn't you all try harder to fight back? He's an incredible actor. Holy shit. I am I am so invested in his character, but it scares the shit out of me. I got a report of disturbance. Uh, here? <laughs> what kind of a disturbance? Uh, an upset stomach, now that I think about it. We're right in the middle of service. Uh, are you... Yes, 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 yes. Oh my god. He recognizes him. <laughs> Do you like this autograph? I don't want to bother you. Yeah, I'm from the MCU. I'm a big name. My wife and I, we love that, um... Oh, what's it called? The one where, uh, you... Ant-Man. Call him Dr. Sunshine. Yeah. Yeah. Great stuff. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's gonna say, like, please help us on there. I'd be annoyed. I'd be like, dude, I wanted your autograph, not a fucking help sign. Yep. Oh, shit. This guy's not going to be able to watch any more of your movies. Hands on your head. Oh. Everyone. Oh. You're joking. Wait, what? No. Oh, he's in on it. <laughs> Thank you, Dale. Thank you. Oh, my God. <sighs> Good job. All part of the theatrics. Well played. You're an eater. You're a taker. What a fucking fantastic scene and little twist that was. My god. Whew. I thought we were chicken wrapping this up. Don't look at me. I, don't, I can't help you out. That's not your position. I said I don't like your food and I would like to send it back. Oh, she clapped back. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. What about my food is not to your liking? Uh, the fact that there's death involved is a pretty big issue for me. Every dish you've served tonight has been some intellectual exercise rather than something you want to sit and enjoy. Right? That's what I said! I'd be so pissed off if I came onto this boat Hell no, man. What the f and wanted food and I got fucking puzzles. You cook with obsession, not love. Oh, she's gonna take your job. I'm still fucking hungry. You're, you're still hungry? Well, here's some food for thought. Go fuck yourself. You know what I'd really like? Tell Chicken me. nuggets. A cheeseburger. A girl of my taste! A cheeseburger, yes! You know, we can do a cheeseburger. A double cheeseburger. Well, I'll make you a very good, very traditional cheeseburger. Triple cheeseburger. The cheap one your parents could barely afford. Hey. They're the best kind of cheeseburgers, don't diss them. How much will that send me back? $9.95. I don't know if they're flirting, or this is like an interrogation. That come with fries? Crinkle cut. 
or Julian. Beer battered. God, my stomach just went on fire then. I want a cheeseburger so badly now. Do you reckon after this movie came out, the sales of cheeseburgers went up? God damn. I'm legitimately like edging right now. I can't believe I just said <laughs> over a fucking cheeseburger. Oh, with the chips too. We got some chicken salt sprinkle on top of that. Don't. Oh, I'm so jealous. I'm so fucking jealous. Good. Good cheeseburger. At least you didn't forget the cheese. I literally ordered a cheeseburger from Macca's like two months ago. They forgot the cheese in the burger. <laughs> that is a cheeseburger. Supplement course, a cheeseburger. <laughs> just a well-made cheeseburger. Fuck yes. I just remembered. I have an Uber Eats bag. <laughs> This whole time, I've had an Uber Eats bag in the background. That's been there for weeks. I just haven't moved it. Everything. Oh, you get to keep five cents change. Does no one else get cheeseburgers? That's a bit rough. Come on. That dude lost a finger. At least give him a double cheeseburger. Oh my god, that's so not fair. She gets to just leave with a cheeseburger. One of the dudes in that room can never pleasure his wife ever again. One, because he cheated and got caught out. And two, he's missing a finger. But no worries. She gets to leave with a cheeseburger. There is the matter of the bill. You're paying twelve fifty for something you can essentially watch on Live Leak for free. You get to be a part of it. Part of what I hope is my masterpiece. Um... What the fuck? What are you doing? We're gonna become toasted marshmallows. Aren't we? Marshmallows by the fire, if you will. That's literally what you're gonna be. The s'more. It's schmo. They're called s'mores, Buzz. Far out. He really doesn't feel pain at all. Well, luckily for Julian, if the place goes up in flames, he won't be able to smell it because Voldemort doesn't have a nose. Also, that means he'd be his own worst critic. He can't even smell the food he cooks. Wow. That's fucked up. She's going to look out and the whole place is going to be on fire. At least she got a bloody cheeseburger though. Delicious hot schmoes. Marshmallow, chocolate, ground cracker, customers, staff and restaurant. <laughs> That's clever. <laughs> uh, you fucking enjoy that cheeseburger, okay? My God. I'm going to have to buy a cheeseburger after this. Yep. Yep. I'm going to have to buy a cheeseburger. Will Ferrell produce this? Wait, Will Ferrell was a producer? What the fuck? More like Will fed well. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so that was the menu. What would you like to order? <laughs> oh my God, I'm so impressed with myself. That was quite fun to watch. Um, I must say, I thought that was gonna go a cannibalistic route, much like Fresh, if you've seen that movie. If you haven't, I'm so sorry, may have just spoiled it for you. But that's not as bad as spoiled milk. Ew. Ugh, disgusting stuff. I'm really, really fucking hungry. If you want to hear me talk a little bit more about this movie and some of the behind the scenes stuff I'm very interested in finding out about, um, like who the fuck did they get to design the food and everything, check out Patreon. You can see my videos the whole day early there too and you can make a movie request. I'm going to give this a four and a half out of five. Delicate exquisite expensive and quite the experience fuck i need a cheeseburger so badly please leave a big like or a little like depending on your stomach size <laughs> leave a comment on the video uh subscribe if you haven't already and yeah check out patreon if you want to hear me talk a little bit more about it. it's like a reaction after show it's a bit of fun i have a lot of fun with it anyway or you just want to support me in general but i should probably take your plate i mean it has been sitting there for a couple of hours yeah yeah Ironically, I served you the same dish. You got nothing. <laughs>